Ford 4.6 liter V8 engine. Arguably the most reliable engine ever made. With just routine maintenance, you can expect to get several hundred thousand miles out of them. There are plenty of examples of vehicles that have done just that. Started life as police vehicles, then became taxi cabs, and then went into private civilian use. But just like this Baylor shirt, it's not green. All I ever see on the media nowadays is things have to be green. No more gas, we need electric vehicles. So we're gonna convert this sucker from a gas guzzling V8 to a highly efficient green electric motor. Now I know what you're thinking. WJ Handy Dad, you don't have the skills to do that. And you're right, but you know what? Who cares? Because it's gonna be green, so that's all that matters nowadays. Screw common sense, let's just make an electric vehicle out of it. It didn't take me long to find a donor vehicle to give us the electric engine that we need. This Jeep made it through several hundred thousand miles of W&J's abuse, burnouts, skids, you name it, they did it, and it still runs like a top. So that's going to be our donor motor. And then we need something to pull the Ford engine. And I just happen to have this engine hoist here, AKA cherry picker. So that's what we'll use. Now normally pulling an engine from a car is a pretty detailed and not simple task. You would normally have to unbolt all sorts of things like the motor mounts, the transmission, and all sorts of electrical connectors. But you know what? We're not gonna use any of that intelligence. We're just gonna rip this sucker out, hook the cherry picker up and just pull. And you know what? Whatever rips off of there, we don't need anyway, because we're going electric. We're green, hey, hey. For our power source, I picked up one of these 12 volt, nine amp hour batteries. Uh, if I find that it's not enough to power the vehicle very far, I did get a second one and so Basically, there's a couple ways you can wire these sorts of things. You can run the ground to the hot of the next battery and then have the ground and the hot go to the vehicle. That'll double you to 24 volts. Or you can have hot to hot, ground to ground, go to the vehicle, and then you'll have 18 amp hours of 12 volts. So that way you have the same power but twice as long or you'll have twice the power for the same length of time. Either way, this is gonna work great. So first we gotta use the hoist to get the motor out of the Jeep. When I pull this, if anything is giving me trouble, we'll just cut it. And we'll just yank the Crown Vic engine out. You know, it's not working. Maybe, maybe you have to attach something to here or something. I, I thought maybe this was just magnetic or something, but apparently, apparently it's not. I don't, I don't know. And it's not working. So I guess we'll just keep the gasoline engine in here and uh, have to live with it. It's really disappointing. Well, I thought I was gonna be able to save the environment by changing my Vic to an electric car, but looks like I can't. Sorry, all you green people. I can't even get a green Baylor shirt. I mean, jeez. I really feel like a failure on this one. I really thought that we would have a green vehicle for you. So let me know in the comments what I did wrong. Maybe we can figure this out. Maybe next year, have a better one. Take care. Happy April Fools.